cardiac output is the product of heart rate and stroke volume. So the factor which affects the heart rate and stroke volume can also affect the cardiac output. In last lecture, we have discussed about the stroke volume and stroke volume is regulated by two types of regulation. First is the homometric regulation and second is the heterometric regulation. And uh, in my last lecture, I have discussed about the heterometric regulation. Today, I will discuss about the homometric regulation of cardiac output. Okay. So, what is homometric regulation? In heterometric regulation, we have discussed that there is initial length of the cardiac muscles which uh, uh, which is stretched by the end diastolic volume and how much it is stretched it ultimately causes uh, it all ultimately develop a tension within them and this tension uh, is responsible for the force of contraction in the cardiac muscle so heterometric regulation is totally dependent upon the length of the cardiac muscle but homometric regulation the length of muscle have no role in the homometric regulation so ability of cardiomyocyte to restore the stroke volume without affecting the length of cardiomyocyte is the homometric regulation then how it regulate the stroke volume through the cardiac contractility and what is the cardiac contractility cardiac contractility has two things or two factors first is the contractility means the rate is increased or there is increased cardiac frequency and second factor is the strength of myocardium how much it can contract okay so these two factor makes the cardiac contractility more the cardiac contractility more the stroke volume less the cardiac contractility less the stroke volume so certain factors can affect the cardiac contractility like where i can enlarge also in the main content factor that increases the cardiac contractility are the calcium ion there is uh, if there is uh, lots of calcium ion within the cardiac muscle then there is uh, good mechanism of contraction uh, within the cardiac muscle and it increases the cardiac contractility second is the catecholamines catecholamines increases the calcium entry and ultimately enhances the card cardiac contraction or cardiac contractility sympathetic system have uh, also uh, role to increase the heart rate or increases the cardiac contractility certain drugs like caffeine and digitalis increases the cardiac contractility now the factor that decreases the cardiac contractility first is the vagus stimulation of vagus nerve or parasympathetic system parasympathetic uh, system activity decreases the cardiac contractility if there is damage to the myocardium then myocardium is unable to work efficiently or uh, propel the blood efficiently in efficient amount so if there is damage to the myocardium uh, then its strength get decreases and ultimately it affects the contractility and ultimately to the stroke volume okay if there is hypercapnia hypoxia or acidosis they have the negative impact on the strength of the cardiac muscle last is the drugs that like barbiturate and quinine they also have negative impact on the cardiac contractility and they ultimately lead to the decrease in the stroke volume so these are the factor which affect the cardiac contractility and this cardiac contractility ultimately affects the stroke volume so these are the two factor we have discussed uh, homometric regulation heterometric regulation that affect the stroke volume and if there is variation in the stroke volume it will affect the cardiac output also in the upcoming lecture i will discuss about the heart rate the next factor which is which can affect the cardiac output is the heart rate and in the next lecture i will discuss about the heart rate okay bye bye